Welcome back to Little Princess Rhapsody 2, a sequel of a game. Uh, now we're entering chapter one here. Uh, basically just a little conversation saying how the town looks so much different than a couple of years ago. Uh, kind of like a, you know, a play on, um, how it is different from the first game. Which it is. Basically, Randy said, yeah, they put a lot of money into developing the town, which is nice, you know. As a kingdom should. Uh, some of the people's, uh, dialogue is translated here, but, um... Uh, I don't think, uh, it's too, too much. Well, only one of the people was, uh, dialogue was translated, it looks like. Uh, basically the guy was telling you about this restaurant, uh, and that's where your next location, or your next destination is. But, uh, even though I can't understand these people, I'm going to go around and talk to the NPCs. Just in case I miss anything. Uh, more so with the database thing. Also, oh, this is our teacher, I believe. I do like how the NPC model, or models, the NPC sprites are just like the NPCs from the first game, just more detailed. So it's nice that they brought back the same designs, and some new ones too. That's a dog. I just like the detail, I, I mentioned it before, I I'm sure, but I just like the details they put into the sprites where, depending on which angle you're talking to them from, their head turns, or... It, there's a lot of sprite work going on. I, I can clearly see the, um... Uh, that they put a lot of, uh, passion into this one. Whereas the first game was a little... repetitive. And, uh, some of the dungeons will repeat themselves too in this one. But they just feel more fleshed out. Like, this is a much more fleshed out game. As you can tell, uh, we are in uh, the mansion of Rosa Queen. But yeah, this is really what we're doing. We're just going around town talking to random people. And uh, here's Mr. Rosa Queen himself. Who's actually, uh, I think... Um, uh, I don't think it says it here. I could be mistaken, but, um... Uh, basically, I think he's retired. He Basically, he's just let his daughter take over the company. Hmm. Finger gun. I don't know why I said that. Looks like there's a pathway behind that bookshelf. We won't know about that till later on in the game. Now this puppet, uh, I'm pretty sure I messed up with this one because what you're supposed to do each chapter is play it a song or play your your horn to it, your trumpet, whatever you want to call it, the instrument of sound. And I think you get something each time. Let me check here. It's been a little bit since I recorded this. It seemed like you got something there. But you're supposed to play it each chapter, and I think I messed that, uh, messed that particular quest up. Animation. Anime. Anime eyes. Anime eye blinking animation. I just 
wanted to stare at that building for a little bit. But yeah, anytime I'm standing still for something, I'm just reading a little bit of the guide to help me out here. Because there's also a Japanese uh, website that I discovered where... Uh, which has some, uh, it's like a database of stuff. I'm also looking at that at the, uh, whenever I'm, uh, recording these as well. Well, I should say I'm looking at a Google translation of that at, uh... As one might know, Google Translation's not the most reliable of things. And this old man won't get out of my way, okay. Lady, I'm... I'm I'm over here. Okay. Yes. There, there we go. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. Okay, that's towards the restaurant. We're not going to head there just yet. But basically, yeah, this is the most of, most of the beef of this part. It's just going around the town, showing off what the town looks like, and the NPCs and whatnot. Um, and I do that every time. So, uh, I'm padding out this playthrough, basically. <laughs> I'm like, what am I buying? Oh, excuse me. Plus one. I understood that part. Have some little Easter eggs here. Uh, that's the old cat design. Uh, we'll be seeing them later on in the game. They got a newer design that they stick with throughout the, the rest of the series. Uh, a statue of her... <laughs> Our mom, or a cornet from the first game, as a young child. South Cream Shop. I'm kind of surprised that's in English, actually. I mean, they're just waiting for this closed door, aren't they? I think you're supposed to be able to talk to that uh, statue, but uh, basically it's like a ridiculous amount of money, which I don't think you can actually ever buy. Uh, looks like this is some kind of uh, pastry shop. Uh, I see uh, bread and cheese in the background there, and uh, so something green. Unless that's supposed to be a bowl with white stuff on top, but I don't know. But uh, we are we're gonna, gonna avoid that because that looks dangerous. Uh, some kind of dress shop here. A tailor. Yeah, if you stick around, she had changed his uh, different outfits, but they uh, they looped after a while. Yeah. Uh, this is what I call market line. Just a bunch of shops right here. Um. I really don't make any... Like, I don't really shop. I don't believe. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what's going on with me. But, um... Yeah, uh, basically, throughout this playthrough, I really don't use the shops all that much. I'm pretty much... Uh, pretty much good from just my bare-bone stuff and whatever I find. More so with, uh, puppet skills. Once I ga gather enough money for it. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're under able to understand all the stuff, I do recommend getting what you can, you know, buying what you can. It's just because of the mechanics of this game, I really don't like to spend money. I'd rather put that towards the skill usage that the game requires you to use for, uh, if you want to use abilities. Which I remind you is a silly mechanic that I, uh, am 
personally glad it doesn't appear after this one, from the looks of it. Nah, but um, the game after this one that you go go back to a MP system. Man, I cannot imagine playing this guy where you had to uh, use a uh, currency to use skills. That would be uh, ooh. <laughs> But there's a restaurant the where they cook bobos, if you remember them. They're the fish-like monsters from the previous game. But we're going to go over here first. Explore the rest of town. I also like the nice touch of the reflection with the water. It's pretty, pretty cool touch that it didn't have to add to. But we saw that earlier with the, uh, the castle bridge moat thing where we fought our first battle at with the toads. There's actually a fish swimming around under here too, somewhere. What does I recall? Huh, I mean, I. Maybe not. Alright, let's go to that restaurant. Let's advance plot, shall we? After we talk all the bar pe all the bar people. Say, hey, what you drinking? Hey, give me some. It's like, no, you're a little girl. I don't know, I mean, she's 14. Maybe, maybe, maybe they did let 14-year-olds drink in the Middle Ages. So, we're just gonna barge into the kitchen and just eat this food. He said, what are you exactly doing, miss? It takes it. Yeah, basically the chefs get mad. They're like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Now, what do you think, you uh, you little brat? Uh, it takes three hours to prepare a dish, and you've eaten it in three minutes. Jesus. I mean, there's still a lot of food there. He's mad. What did you call her? But of course. <laughs> yes, we have credit cards. The, 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 the setting of this world is a mix of technology and fantasy, uh, medieval fantasy. But basically, this is a. Uh, Cornette's rival's daughter, uh, which uh, is actually Kururu's best friend. So unlike the first game where they kind of had like a budding heads relationship, but still was friends at the end of the day, these two are just straight up best buddies. Siri, I think you pronounce her name. It's C E or C R E A. Sira. Hey, basically, she says, oh, keep Randy as a uh, collateral. So, uh, we're gonna lose Randy in our party for a little bit. But we gain Siri in return. She's really the, throughout the story, she's really our main party member that we usually have all the time throughout the story. It's actually not till the very last chapter when you get five people at once. 
But basically, since we ate the food, we gotta go find another fish for the people. So that is our next uh, quest, is to venture outside the town. She said, come at the reality. Ouch. But basically, we're just gonna go try to the river. Um, this is actually uh, a callback to a quest in the first game where we had to hunt a uh, fish for... for, um... for the captain's daughter. Very similar. We just gotta go find a fish and bring it to these guys to cook it. We don't have to hunt down any cats to cook it. That face on that head chef looks, uh... A mixture of angry and worry? We are going to head back to a few NPCs to talk with her because she's in our party. I'm really awful with this, I, I admit it. But she does have unique dialogue if uh, you go to talk to certain NPCs. Oh yeah, I didn't mention these two are back from the first game. Uh, they really age well, actually, it looks like. Actually, yeah, uh, after this bit part, we are going to actually progress the plot. We're going to actually see some battles. Uh, it's actually going to be like a real game. I know one can say, why are you showing all this off if we can't really understand it? Eh, yeah, I understand that. Uh, and that's completely reasonable. Uh, like I said, I'm just being cautious because I want to try to complete the game as much as possible despite the language barrier and uh, there are some stuff that's recorded in the notebook I think I mentioned it already in the notebook where uh, certain conversations will be recorded and they are updated uh, they're, they're right here actually basically events like as you can see there's like this optional one right here that's way down in the list now I think that's um carried over from New Game Maybe, maybe. No, that is not carried from New Game Plus. Okay. The monster database is what's carried from New Game Plus. Which is actually what she's going to give us right now. Um, so actually the, uh, this is actually going towards your grade. No, uh, gameplay significance. It's just a little, hey, you, this is for our grade for school. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. Hence why we have a bestiary, which is not just a bestiary either. It also records, uh, think of Jiminy's journal from Kingdom Hearts. It's just like that, really. That's a that's the best comparison right there. Say, okay. And I'm actually going to look at the notebook here. Uh, that's not it. This is it. Uh, you're gonna get a little sneak peek at some stuff here, which I kind of escaped my mind here. But yeah, this is uh, where you record everything. Uh, we see stuff here you not run into just yet, because, uh, like I said, it does carry over from New Game Plus. 
like we're seeing people we, we don't even we haven't even met yet. But I do like all the hand-drawn Crayola crown kind of portraits. I think that's a cute touch. But that will conclude this part, and I will see you in the next part.